Region 5 Mahaika Burpees is the last region in the country to have recorded a positive COVID-19 case. The patient, a 66-year-old female, was scheduled to travel overseas and did a COVID-19 test which came back positive. Regional Health Officer Dr. Desmond Nicholson, during a virtual press conference on Wednesday, said that after a rigorous contact tracing, all persons who came into contact with the patient were placed under quarantine. Three rapid response teams have also been established in the region. Other representatives from the Ghana Sugar Corporation, Gaisuku, Ghana Police Force, the Region 5 Chamber of Commerce, Ministry of Health, and the Mahaika Maikoni Abari Agricultural Development Authority also attended the press conference. I believe that as a region, we have been doing our best to firstly prevent and to secondly contain or to mitigate any spread of COVID-19 within Region 5. Deputy Police Commander in Region 5, Yonet Stevens, said persons will be prosecuted for breaking the COVID-19 measures. We are containing our enforcement because persons will be arrested, persons will be prosecuted. It must also be noted that there should be no gatherings at beaches and seawalls. Vehicles traversing the roadways must have the required amount of passengers that they should be carrying to ensure they prevent the COVID-19 spread and they must also sanitize passengers as they enter their vehicles. A Ministry of Health representative, Dr. Vishwa Mahadio, said that in the meantime, only priority testing will be done in the region for those persons who came into contact with the positive patient. Because as it is, we have reached a stage where one person infects less than one. One person, as, as it stands right now, in, they say it's still over two. So it means it's going to continue to rise. So we need proper contact tracing. Important also is the issue of stigma. I'm glad the doc mentioned, and I think you're one of the uh, of a few regions that you've used what they call compliant, informing the public, carry the message out there. Is not everybody going to look at the television? Not everybody going to listen to the radio? Not everyone is going to read the newspaper? Not everyone is going to go on Facebook or social media? But we still need the message to get out there, and I think that's commendable, Chair, that your region has been doing this. Meanwhile, it was also noted that Gaisuku continues to follow all the COVID-19 guidelines to protect the over 2,000 sugar workers and other staff at the Blairmont and Albion Estates. Persons are being encouraged to wear a face mask at all times and contact hotline numbers 624-2000-624-9000-640-3000 if they experience any signs or symptoms of COVID-19. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwo.